Manchester United scrubbles a 2-0 victory over Brighton on the last day of the Premier League this season. Now, uh, before I get into the match action, I want to say this, that in the final of the FA Cup, after that final, whether we win or lose, I'll be doing a match, uh, not a match, not only a match action, but I'll be doing a season overview. You know, some players that perform, some players that underperform, some players that are were iffy iffy and others wishy washy. Is me players that need to believe, players that need to, you know, all that good stuff. I'll be getting into that in the FA Cup after the FA Cup final. So stick on still for that. Now in the game against Brighton away from home. Now the the full time score doesn't tell the whole story. It doesn't tell the whole story because although we won two nil and those two goals were scored in the second half, Brighton was a better side. And this is not me you know, this is not me looking for a, a, a theatric making a theatric drama, you know, tirade about Manchester United not playing well, but the fact is that Brighton dominated us, not only in the first half, but most portion in the second half. They had most of the possession. There was a time where they had like 80% possession in the last 20 min in the, in, in the last 10 minutes of somewhere in the first half. And we had only 20. They were knocking passes, man. You see me? They, they, they have an intric they have a system under the Zerbi. And that was shown against us. They had Welbeck playing. No, to be honest, I thought Welbeck would have scored would have scored against us. Because Welbeck, according to history, has a record of scoring goals against us. So I thought this would be just be no exception for it. But he didn't score any goals against us. So but it against us, man, Brighton, man. You were, I was just saying, why we can't play this football, bro? We have better players, bro. Why is that we can't play this type of football at Manchester United? You see me? That's what I was just contemplating. And dude, man, I do, I do not like to be right about criticizing players rightly. But what have I been saying? If you have been watching my videos for the last eight videos or so, you know that I'm a big critic of um, Amrabat, and I don't hide that. You see me? I say it like an open book. This bridging should not be at this club, man. He has no self awareness. I would even, I would even, I would use, I was joking to myself while watching the game, saying that Matic is slower than this guy and he's taller and he's more lethargic. And Matic has better awareness than this guy. This guy has no awareness whatsoever. Isn't it me? He got caught out a lot of times, man. This Moroccan AMS look like Bridgerton. He's not that good when he's playing deep. And when Anana is giving the ball to this guy, it's like he's all over the place. And where there is no option, he give the goalkeeper and go give it away, man. This is not Thanksgiving. What are you trying to give away? Seriously. So it just proves the thought. And this Bridging just proved me right, man. This guy is not Manchester United material, man. Yes, I don't even think he's Montreal material. Well, this is not MLS, but <laughs> he's not, he should not be at Manchester United, though. He's not a Manchester United quality midfielder. Not one that should be starting. And not one that she even should be playing at the club. Um, In the second half. Oh, before I get it. I'm all over the place. Brighton had chances to put to put away. But they did. You know, I don't know if they were being merciful to us. And they lost this. So, for, so, uh, so that we can get European qualification. That could have been an accusation. But the, the fact is. They had chances to, to go score against us. And they didn't score. Is me. Joe Pedro had a chance. Welbeck had a chance. A couple of other black bridging, they had a chance. I don't know them name because I don't know Brighton like that. But they had chances to go score against us. And the and the left uh, left wing back of there is Barbara or some the the red here that dude. He, 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 could, he was causing a few problems. But let's bring this back to Manchester United because this is about Manchester United. So our squad, that the starting lineup that played against Brighton, Brighton Bruno didn't have one of his best games, and I said this because I said in my last in my last match reaction when we won against Newcastle three two, that when Bruno is playing at home, he play he tends to play his best game at home, away from home, that Bruno is not the same Bruno when I'm playing away from home, and and today's you, you could have seen that, is me so. If he can channel that inner Bruno of his, that dog in him, away from home. And he, had, and he, and he, and he, and he created chances. McTominay, 
dude, Mark Tammany is no center forward. Just because they can, that's just because you have quote unquote goal scoring instincts doesn't mean that you should be playing as I said. Tim Cahill played off of the center of uh, either Fellaini or Yakubo or, or uh, Louis Saha, whatever striker they played at Everton. But he never played as no striker. Even if there was no striker, he didn't play as no striker. Though. But he had well honed goal scoring instincts. You put this Virgin is like what? 5 5 5 6. You put that ball in the box, he's going to edit and score. And he's not even half of my one feeling was like what six five? And he could have hidden a ball, but I don't mean say you should play that striker because he can't score in a box. So this this thing that's where we're saying that oh Mark Tommy he has goal scoring since you know score. Put him in the box when when we cross him ball. Doesn't mean that we should play him as a striker. Cause when Bruno gave him that ball, I don't even know what what star he's trying to lick down, cause it's they. And I don't even know why he's, why he's trying to take that big shot anyway. Go for the far post, man. That was a atrocious shot. You see me? So, yeah, I, I would have started Hoyland, but I'm no manager. You see me? But, you know, that you see, he's, he scored his first goal. But, yeah, let's take it easy. In the second half, no. After playing catch up with Brighton because they were the better side in the first half. Gonacho was stretching the defense. He was like our main outlet. No, uh, Ahmad Diallo, he's not as direct in terms of... He's not as direct as Gonacho. He's not going to go on the far side to stretch the defender as Gonacho. You see me? Gonacho is going to cut in trying to go on the outside, but Ahmad Diallo, I believe he should try to try beat the defender, though. You know, we have Anthony for that. Anthony is going to pass the ball inside. He's not going to really... He can dribble a few times, but that's not his main MO. That's not his game plan. That's not that's not what he usually plays. Isn't me so but still I'm a, I'm a dull, dull should be starting the right hand side because that's the right the choice. But um let's go to the first goal. So Casemiro played the ball over the top. He played as another centre back with uh Mar Lucha, uh Martinez, who didn't have one of his best games. Um into the path, I think was trying to get this, uh, McTominay, and it went to Dalo, and Dalo go, go, go took it away 1 0. And he's just showing that Dalo, you could see that, see, you could see that Dalo, there is a leader growing in Diogo Dalo. He's becoming more of a leader. Oh, seven minutes already, the man, I've been rumb rumbling all this time. He's, he's becoming more of a leader, he's becoming more vocal, he's me, um, authoritative, and uh, that's the growing instinct in him, man. And Yes, he's grown as a player. He's really grown as a player. Um, the second goal, Christian Eriksen came on. Rashford came on. I was surprised Bruno Fernandes came on, but I know that he's in line with the FA Cup final. You want him to be 100% fit. is me, but... Um, Rashford came on. Didn't look sparkling. You know, didn't... Yeah, nothing to bat an eye at, but he didn't look sparkling. And Christian Eriksen... One try to one to it into Holland's feet. Holland go beat a defender. You're thinking, what is he gonna do here? Is he gonna pass it to 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 Ganache on the right hand side? This Bridging go take it by himself and go, you know, you know, do a little body feint on his right. Then put on his right foot, go shoot and go score his right foot, and it's two nil. It just and he has sixteen goals. It's it's, it's not you know. Dude, I've, I said I was saying this to myself because I was doing a lot of self talking while watching the game. I said to myself, if this Bridging could have found his golden boot, his golden boot because he didn't know goal. If this Bridging found his shooting boots before this of twenty twenty three, he would have at least had over twenty goals, at least twenty two. Yeah, yeah, he had chances to at least be at twenty two goals or twenty three, and that's not a bad return. For a 21, 20 year old striker, regardless of the the price that we got him for. Because even if he didn't score him goals, people go still criticize. So, like, I can't win either way. <laughs> you know, that's the thing with football. But, yeah, man, he's in, he talked it away, and uh, yeah, it's a 2 0 victory to Manchester United. So, let me know your. Uh, that's the end of the season. Um, I believe Man City won the Premier League a fourth time. Dude, I don't know. Like I said, I wanted Liverpool to win the Premier League, but they didn't take it seriously. They dropped points. They became sloppy. And, you know, the players just lost him hit. So, I guess they just, you know, lost it. So, 
But yeah, Man City have won it, I believe, the fourth time. Now, Arsenal, nobody wants Arsenal to win the Premier League. So, them have the Premier League for the fourth time in a row. Leave your comments below in the comment section on this game. Um, what's your thoughts on, you know, your man of the match? I don't usually do man of the matches in my match reaction, though. My man of the match was... Um, I don't think we have one. I would probably say Dalo. Dalo was inverted. See, Dalo can play it in. Uh, Dalo, Diogo Dalo of Manchester United can play invert position. That's what everything I was trying to do with Amabat. But he doesn't have the legs for that. And he doesn't have the, the IQ to be doing that. He's not a quick thinker like that. So he can play inverted left back. He's no left. He's no full back for one. And he, and when he's when if you're looking you know to play the ball outfield into the outlet that is running, he's not a type of player, man. That's that Diogo Dalo can s slot in, but I still want him at right back. But we have one Wamisaka for right back, is me. But we still need full backs in 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 the summer though. Midfielders, defenders, and striker. Marcel is leaving. Let's not forget that. But I'm gonna talk about all of that good stuff. After the FA Cup final, whether we win or lose, we'll, I'll be talking about all of that in the overall, you know, you know, evaluating our season video uh, next week. So stick on so for that one. Leave your comments down below in the comment section on this game. You're a man of the match as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I have nothing else to say. i see you in the next match. match i see you in the next video. I'm out. Man, why is it so dark?